I have Remy in the car. We're going to Walmart to buy a TV. I'm going to buy a TV because I bought one last week and I like it. And I stopped using a TV when in New York City they switched that that you had to have like some kind of some kind of box. You couldn't watch TV from the airwaves anymore. They changed it from uh, analog to d digital. So you either had to have the, the box that converts it or you had to have a cable box. So I was just like, well, screw this. I'm just going to have basic uh, internet service and watch stuff on my computer. And that's what I did for a long time. And then talking to my friend, you know, I... She was talking. She was talking about a TV, and they had sent me the set-top box, and I was just like, "Well, I'm gonna go get a TV. They're cheap, but they are. They're cheaper than I even thought. $128. You get a a pretty big screen. So I'm like, screw it. So so I I called the cable company. They sent me a second box. I'm gonna go put a TV upstairs too. I can listen to CNN whenever I want. I don't have to go on YouTube and see who's streaming it. You know, and those st streaming it isn't so hot when when you're streaming something that's live because they have to alter it so that YouTube doesn't take it off and stuff. So they make it real tiny or they put, you know, so that that's what we're doing. I got to get some other stuff, but um, I got to get back here and work with Bowser, who's just rocking out. I have like very little stress when it comes to Bowser. He's doing great on housebreaking. You know, he's he's doing great, and he's doing great on everything else. The most stress when a dog comes here for me is getting the dog to do a proper retrieve. This isn't going to be a problem for this dog. This dog is an aberration as much as my dog Ike. Or a lot of labs, you know. If, if, if I was working with more labs, I would see this. Um, and that's just like... You know, a young puppy, you can train these young labs, goldens and stuff. If you do it right, you can just get them retrieving right away. It's been bred in for years. And that's what we're looking at with Bowser. The He's got lab in him and poodle. You know, a poodle is not a, is a non-sporting breed. This is the truth. I think it's non-sporting, but man, what a sporty dog. They originally used them for hunting, and like, like I said, I said this in a video the other day, man, I saw a poodle doing field trials once, and it was fucking amazing. Look, Walmart's packed today. Never give your dog grapes. Grapes are toxic to dogs. I'm not making it up, man. You want, you want to put your dog in the grave? Give him grapes. I'm not shitting. Do not do that. A lot of the food that humans can eat, dogs cannot. It's fruit anyway. Dogs shouldn't be eating fruit like that. You think wolves are going outside Yellowstone and being shot because they're stealing apples from orchards? They're not. Somebody please explain why Walmart doesn't sell buttermilk. I don't get it. Walk by this guy, man, the odor coming from him. Just just smells. Go take a go take a bath or maybe he's ill. Seriously, the guy stunk like shit. Check this out. This TV, it's $118. No, it's not in a fancy box, right? That's why it's 118 bucks. That's $10 cheaper than the last one that I bought. It's mine. This liquid nails, it's water cleanup. This is a very good product. You can smooth it out with a sponge, your finger. Dries hard. It's good for a lot of stuff. Might not be good if you're doing something that's gonna be outside all the time, you know? But anything that's interior, this works real well. Another sign, spring is here, turkey hunting. I don't like to turkey hunt because I can't take a dog. I don't know, that's, that's just me. If I'm gonna go hunting, I wanna take a dog with me. Turkey hunting, you can't have a dog. I'm looking for a my pillow. Is that what it's called? You know, the guy? I'm looking for one of those, see if they sell those, and then I'm gonna cut it open, see what's inside. I think it's just chopped up memory foam. That, that's what I'm guessing. I bet they have other, there's so many different kinds of pillows here. It's unbelievable. Stomach sleeper, I didn't know that. I'm a stomach sleeper. 
I do that because if I sleep on my back, sometimes if I have congestion, I'll stop breathing and wake up like <gasps> gasping for breath. Maybe I should get that pillow. It's six, it's six bucks. I'm getting it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna see how it works. This makes a total sense. This, this is like, real real soft you know i use a regular pillow when it's just like you know straight i'm trying this at six dollars who gives a shit i was out of lighter fluid and i went down to the dandy mart to see if they had anything that could you know start start a fire and they had lighter fluid for like a um you know a metal lighter you know one of those old old time ones so i got that i threw it on there started lighting it with a lighter don't don't do that i th i figured it was the same shit as this it's not that stuff that goes in the little tiny metal lighters that's pure naphtha that stuff blew up and like i singed my hair and shit seriously if you don't have a pair of le leather gloves for dog training you should and you should make sure that they're not real big they come in handy like say if you're using a long line and the dog takes off and you have leather gloves on, you're not gonna burn your hands. A lot of times they'll do that. Like you're, you're working a dog on a long line, you're throwing a retrieve, and then the dog takes off before it's supposed to. Leather gloves, also for teaching hold. You put these on and then you have the dog hold your hand. Do you understand? You do that with Bowser. Make sure that the dog is soft mouth, knows that it can't can't bite the hand that feeds it. Get the dog used to you putting your hand in its mouth. This will be helpful, especially if it's, if it's a larger dog, you might get bit. Use gloves, very, very good thing to have. It's five, five dollars, man. Candles, I, I don't really buy them. And if I do buy them, it's because the lights are out that's the only reason why I would buy them. Chicks like to buy candles, and I'll tell you why. It's because they like to put them in the bathroom. One, they don't like to smell stink. And if they stink up the bathroom, they know, they, chicks know that guys don't want to think <laughs> that they take a crap. It's the truth. I don't want to think about that. Don't stink up the bathroom, light a match, light a candle. That's why they like candles. They know, they know this about us, that we do not, we're not into that, you know? At least if you're normal, you're not. Look, more signs of spring, the Easter Bunny. Look, they're selling more candles in Walmart. They're everywhere. And speaking of that, most of the chicks that I've seen in Walmart today look like they stink up the bathroom a lot. You know what I'm saying? No thanks. Hypothetically, if I was gonna get married, that's if, which I'm not. There's no way, not at this point. Why would I bother? Why would anybody bother? But if I was going to, and I was gonna buy a ring, this is where I would get it. $300, she's never gonna know the difference. See if you can find a Tiffany box or something to put it in, take it out of the Walmart box. She's never gonna know. Here's one for 148. That's the ring you buy your soon-to-be wife. She's never gonna know the difference. You spend thousands of dollars on a ring, it's not, the marriage isn't gonna last. You, you know that, right? The chances of it lasting are slim, are slim. So spend there, you can get the whole set forever bride trio. That's, you get the engagement ring and the full-on wedding ring for $98. Is the woman that you're, you're gonna marry, is she a jeweler? Does she make jewelry? No. Then buy her the fucking shit, shit ring. She's never gonna know the difference. If it turns her finger green or something, say something like that's probably your body chemistry responding to the, the gold, the white gold. Oh, that's white gold. That's what happens when you use white gold, when, when a ring's made out of white gold. It's nothing. Don't worry about it, baby. What, wash, your, wash your ring finger off. Take that ring off. 
Maybe you'll get lucky, she'll take the ring off and lose it, and then you can kind of hold that over her head. You lost the wedding ring, but I love you. See what I'm saying? Could happen, she could lose the ring, and then you're gonna have that power. It's all a power struggle in a marriage. Trust me, I know, I didn't get married, I'm smart. All these rings, there's one for $68. That's your wedding ring right there, 68 bucks. Oh yeah, they're a great price. Check out this shirt, pinch me and I'll punch you. That's fucking violent, Walmart. It is, it's pretty violent. If somebody pinches you, don't punch them. It's not worth it. I checked out all the St. Patrick's Day shirts that they have out. Not one shirt says, I'm Irish, give me a knobber. Walmart's definitely the place to get a wedding ring. It is, don't spend a lot of money. It's all bullshit anyway, isn't it? And if she finds out, seriously, if she finds out, just say you didn't know that you were ripped off. And besides, it's, it's not the ring itself and what the ring is worth, it's how much I love you. I'll say one thing for TVs is that they're, they're super cheap. So anybody that's like giving China shit or says, well, I don't, I don't want to go to Walmart. You know, some of the, not all this stuff is made in China. That thing probably is because it's $10 cheaper than the last TV that I bought that was made in the United States. Well, it was assembled in the United States so they, they could put the American flag on it to make Trump happy. But there's so much lighter, it's unbelievable. Like 15 years ago, 10, let's say 20 years ago, you go and get a TV, they were so fucking heavy. Now all of them are flat screen, all of them. Man, flat screen when it came out was like $10,000 or something. Now it's a hundred bucks for a 32 inch. And you got a problem with China? I got no problem with China. This one was $10 cheaper because it wasn't assembled in the United States. Good.